everyone, it's Sammy from Sammy Sweet Life, and today we are going to experiment with a couple of spray inks. So I have gone and looked at lots of fountain pen things, and I'm super excited. I ended up getting this pen from Jet Pens a while back. This is a Platinum Preppy, and I had asked on the Sterling Ink group what ones they recommend for a first timer, and a lot of people said Platinum Preppy, and I was like, wait a minute, that sounds totally familiar. So I went through all my pens and sure enough, I had gotten this one. And I remember at the time thinking I was getting black ink and totally just setting this one aside, not even thinking about it because uh, it wasn't black ink, it was pink. So I was surprised it was really pretty, but I just wasn't interested at the time. I was just looking for black pens that work in the Tomoe River paper. And now I'm diving into all of the fountain pen goodness. So I thought I'd give this one a try and play around with it. I've used it for journaling a few times and I'm thinking about doing lots of inking and uh, ink related purchases in November. That's just something that I've been researching. It feels like they have a lot of cool shimmery and sheen type things. And when I was looking at that, I had seen somebody post like an ink spot. They did the word October in really pretty scripty font down below and then they made an ink spot and I saw their reel where they smacked it with a spoon and it splashed out and it looked so cool. And then I remembered I have all sorts of different like spray type of things. I had just ordered these few from Simon Says Stamp. These are all distressed things. I got two distress mica stains and then a distress oxide here. And then I, you know, as a scrapbooker would, I had lots of other things. I'm moving ink out of the way. So I've got printer ink on top in my little bucket here of all sorts of inky goodness. So look, I got all sorts of like ink sprays and I mean some of these aren't goo gone. I've got some of these other sprays. These are spray stains. I've got little daubers. These are little ink re-inker sprays and these ones come empty. So some of these I can dump out. I think this one might be alcohol ink. Yeah, blender ink. So it's alcohol in there, just like rubbing alcohol. I've got some sprays gray shiny ones and like lots of these are old years and years old so I don't even know if some of these are dried out or will work or anything but I've got this whole thing and I want to experiment on some Tomoe River paper so that's what we're going to do today. Now I'm going to be spraying so I'm going to not have my cover nearby. I'm just going to take this out and work on it like this. Oops got my bookmarks stuck in here. I'd already clipped it thinking I would go ahead and ink up things but I've got to actually take it apart. So I already went ahead and started dating this for November. I got my November kit yesterday. So all of these are dated up for November. I'll still add stickers and things like washi tape. But then the end of this, this will be, I don't even know if it's enough for December, 171 to 188. No, it won't be enough quite for December. So I'll work around that. But I thought I could ink this up and play around with it. There's plenty of pages in earlier months that actually aren't written on, so I could totally redate those and have mix and match pages in there. So I want to have something to protect this surface too. This is just a backdrop. And I also have baby wipes here. We're gonna get all sorts of inky and crazy and I don't wanna mess up anything on the background here. So I want to just kind of spray. So these are new ones for me. They're Distress Oxide um, thing. So this is Distress Distress Oxide Spray. I don't know how any of this is gonna to react to this paper. And then these are Distress Mica Stains, and these ones are very shimmery. You can see all the shimmer at the bottom. I have not even opened these, they've been on my desk. I ordered these during September, because I wanted some stamps in their stamp timber sale. They do a September collab event where they're collabing with various companies, and I love some of the stamp companies still. So, I get this spray in. I just want to kind of do a splotch of each of these and see how it reacts. Okay, they make this like really difficult. I don't see any dotted line down the bottle, so I'm really trying to just cut, cut it enough that I can pull on some of it. They really don't want it to leak, which is good, but also help us just out and um, make it so you can at least open the package. Okay, I can, I can get them now. So there is an agitator in here. I can hear it like a spray paint. I don't know if bubbles are gonna mess it up, but there's lots of shimmer down at the bottom. I know you're not supposed to shake fountain inks this vigorously. I don't know if it really matters with this kind. You probably shouldn't shake it that strong. All right, we're going for it. Let's see what we got. Ooh, yeah. Okay, so we got like the 
tiny little beginning and then a nice good spritz there. All right, same thing with purple here. This color, by the way, is Wonderland, so nice and wintry, and this one is called Hocus Pocus. So it's from the Halloween stuff. Shake it up, there's still lots of shimmer on the bottom. Let's see if we get some shimmer in here. Ooh, yeah, I like the way that looks. Okay, and then we're gonna let it dry. We're gonna see how all the shimmery stuff settles. I don't know if this one is shimmery. I can't remember, but it definitely looks very painty. Like there's stuff at the bottom that's mixing in. So I don't know if it's shimmery or not. I haven't researched. I just saw them and I was like, yes, I'm gonna try them out for things. And then this is a good, good way to try it out. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Like these are my jam, these colors. Okay, a little bit of that. And we're gonna see how all these react. So this one's called Oxide Spray, and it's the Kitsch Flamingo, which is super cute. I have some of the ink uh, stuff with that. I don't even know if these are still available, and I don't know if mine are still even like, got anything left. It comes out like a nail polish. Oh yeah, it's still there. It's like shimmery and pearly. So you can do some brush lettering with that, which I don't brush letter very good. Maybe not so much, it's kind of hard for that. Okay, so this part's not the best part, but definitely add some accent lines with that one. Oops, you can't even see what I'm doing. There we go. Can add some accent lines or whatever with something like this. I don't know that they even make these smooch things anymore. We also have some shimmer. These are from uh, Sukineko. Sheer shimmer spritz. So I, again, don't know if it's even gonna spray out or anything. Oh yeah, still spraying. Got various colors of little pearlescent type of things. We also have some smooch spritz and these are much darker. So I would assume these ones are not gonna be great on this paper, but I don't know, this paper is very forgiving. So we're gonna try this brown. Yeah, I'm not getting anything coming out here. Just got like an ink dot. Okay, so that's not coming out. That will be a, a dud. But these Ranger ones you can fill with whatever. So you can totally fill these with fountain pen ink. This one happens to be just rubbing alcohol. What else do we have? I don't even know. I don't know what this is. I don't have it labeled. And there's another shimmer spritz. This one's all used up and dry so I could reuse the bottle if the bottle's working. Let's see what else we've got. Another one of these, which looks totally gross. Like these are years and years old. These are another like shimmery spray. But these are glass, which is not, <laughs> not cool. Oh, it still comes out, but not sure exactly what we're gonna get from that. Let's see, we've got these kind of sprays. These are just spray stains, just the regular distress. Give it a good spray. And then I also have the alcohol in one of these, so it reacts with that ink. Pretty sure. So we're gonna... Yeah, see? See it react with that ink. And we've got something going down the spine, which is probably not the best. There we go, we're gonna let all of those simmer down. We've got some of these um, distress stains. So these are like daubers, like they're old. My kids have messed with these as well. They're just daubers. Put down some ink and move it around with sponges or whatever. I like to make ink swatches with these little things because they're circular. Okay, so I feel like that gave us a lot of stuff to play with and let dry, so I'm gonna just let it dry for now. Okay, it is way later and everything is nice and dry. I actually really like how the alcohol ink reacted with that, but I have a feeling the alcohol ink seeped through. I haven't looked at everything. That is still like the tiniest bit wet. Let's see. That might have the tiniest bit of wetness still too, like where the ink was most concentrated. It's a little bit wet. We did get some spritz on other pages that were showing, and um, that dot did not dry at all. So let's see, I need a tissue. I'm going to dry all the spots that are not dry. I'm not going to try to smear anything, but I'm just going to dab things. Oh, maybe it is mostly dry. I don't know, I'm getting something off, but not much. And that one had a blob of where it just like pooled up. I think that one is dry. Okay, I really like the way that they look. I actually like the way the daubers looked. And everything except some of the daubers is shiny and sparkly. 
So this one's not shiny. It's more of like a matte finish, but I like the way it reacts on the paper. You can see it just has different areas of pooling and I really like the way that one looks. Love, love, love these ones, these mica stains. I'm gonna end up with lots of those, I think. I really like those. Let's see the back. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought the alcohol ink would bleed through because Copic markers, which are alcohol-based markers, bleed through. Otherwise, we have a couple of little spots that bled through on the purple mica stain, which is a pretty dark color. I'm surprised that not more bled through on that. The pink didn't bleed through, but it had lots of shadowing where it soaked into the paper. Let's see on this side what we've got here. Same deal, like very, very strong parts pooled and inked up. A little bit of bleeding through, but it didn't soak through all the way. This one did end up bleeding through pretty heavily where I went over it a little bit. And then otherwise the paper held up really well. I love the crinkliness of it. You can see the alcohol ink definitely soaked through. Let's see, multiple pages got soaked through at that little crease. And that is the distress stain that I sprayed alcohol on top of it. So the spray stain I don't think would react that heavily, but the alcohol did. Because I don't think this is alcohol. But you can spray alcohol on top of it and make it react differently. So yeah, totally love the mica stains, love the oxide, love the distress stain like dauber things. Super cute. I have lots of lots of various daubers, various colors. So I could definitely use those for things. And then I've got different of these spray stains that are not glittery, but I really like the glittery ones. I am totally sold on these two glittery ones. And the um, oxide stain is very matte finish, which also looks really neat how it reacts. I don't know if it has any sort of shimmer in it, but it's really pretty how it looks on the paper too. It looks like some of the fountain inks that are not shimmery. So I could have a lot of fun inking up with those just spraying pages. Yeah, those are winners for me. I wonder if I could use a pen, like a dip fountain pen into these inks and see what happens. I may end up doing that. I'm planning on getting one pen, it's just a regular refillable pen, and then one dip pen so I could play around a little bit. I did end up getting some ink on here. Not just will wipe off, hopefully. I think most things are pretty successful on here. I'm happy with especially the mica stains. They ended up turning out really well and I feel like I could still write on the back or spray for that. No alcohol spray, like that was a total fail, but I've done ink testing and alcohol markers totally failed on this paper too. And they soak right through really heavy papers too, so it's not just this paper. I'm really happy with that. I got a couple of really good options for spritzing pages. Okay, I went to put everything away and then I had some stencils in that same drawer. Now I have other stencils, but these ones happen to be just really cute, like falling hearts and falling stars and lots of companies, including Simon Says Stamp, makes these. So I kind of wanted to play around with them and these are, you know, just test pages. They don't have to come out perfectly. I'm not gonna like take my stencils down or anything. I'm just going to potentially get myself spritzed. So I'm gonna roll my sleeves up for this one. I just want to try the various things and spray some little hearts. So I've got various sprays. We're gonna see how they do. I also have the Distress Stain to use as well. But let's just see what happens. Let's see what we get as far as what we can spray. And it's not exactly flush all the way over the paper. I like the idea of things mixing, I'm trying to keep the same spaces. Okay. I'm just gonna spray with this one too. It does spray in like one solid spot. Okay. I don't think all those hearts. How cute is that? Of course, there's some overspray on this page, so if you want to mask off things and block papers, you can block underneath, because I got the other pages, and then block the side paper, which also got sprayed. And I think like my protector got sprayed as well, so I would clean this off in the sink, which I think I'm gonna do really quick. I just rinsed that off and dried it a little bit. Dry off some of these edges. I've just got a baby wipe. Just kind of wipe up. This is one of those little cleaning mats that keeps your surface kind of clean. 
I'm just kind of wiping around everything. And I did scoop my book up, which is probably not a good idea to scoop the book up on here. I'm sure it's covered with stuff. So I've got a garbage can handy. Luckily my office slash scrap room is right off of a little hallway bathroom. So it makes it easy to clean up in the bathroom for various things. Get my book wiped down a little bit. I love the way those look. And you have some of the overlapping color, which gets purple. Super cute. So I'm gonna let that dry and we will see how that one looks. Okay, I went away for about an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer, and most of it is dry. There's a few places that don't look dry. I'm just gonna use a tissue and dab those off. I actually wanna do some journaling in here tonight. So I need my notebook. I love the way it looks. I love the matte finish against the um, sparkly parts too. The hearts look really good. It just looks super cute, like some glitter, some matte finish. I like how the colors blended together here and there. We definitely could have done some of the actual purple on here as well. I love that, super duper cute. I don't know about journaling over this. Oops, you know what? It's not completely dry, I just smudged that one. Um, I don't know how it would go actually journaling over these. I feel like it might be hard on some pens to go over something like this. I'm trying to make sure I'm drying the whole thing. Um, but it's really pretty. <laughs> I actually have stencils and I could make stencils with my Cameo. I am a huge fan. I love the idea of doing stencils and then random sprays as well. Super cute. And I actually like the little spray area on that side too. So I'll have fun. Um, Playing around with this. Anyway, there is my look at lots of different various things that are not intended for Tomoe River paper. These are just intended for scrapbook and card making, but I had a lot of fun nonetheless playing around with them. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and follow me along. I will link to these down below. I got most of these at Simon Says Stamps, so I'll link to that down below if you're interested in these. And that's all I've got for you. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye!